Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Theory, the show where we detail and discuss some of the most thought-provoking questions, ideas, and things you may or may not have wondered about Pokemon. With little official answers from the creators, we're left to speculate many of the pressing questions of Pokemon that are left unanswered, and today one of those questions are going to be confirmed. Have you ever wondered who or what governs over the Pokemon world? Really, who rules over Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, or any of the other regions? Being based on the real world, is there a government in place, or is this all just something that was overlooked by the programmers in the games? Today, I will have a concrete answer for you. So sign in and get ready to comment down below as we explore the complexities of Pokemon government. Hello, and welcome back to Pokemon Theory, the show where Professor Oak really isn't a professor, and going to the gym doesn't mean pumping iron. Unless you're in Duford Town, which is a literal gym. Yeah, uh, government doesn't sound that fun, but I assure you it's, uh, it's pretty interesting at the very least. Is there a Pokemon government? The government, you know, the organization of people who join together to keep a country going and uh, rule over the people in a positive or a <clears throat> negative way. <laughs> yeah, like the Elite Four ruled. Uh, would it be Lance calling the shots? Uh, like a king or something? Well, well, I guess it wouldn't be Lance because Lorelei's ice types would destroy his dragons if he, uh, if he got out of line. So there goes that idea. Unless Lance has a thing going on with Lorelei, but then uh, Agatha would get jealous and uh, oh, oh, oh god, I really don't want to entertain that. Oh, oh god. Now, I'm no government teacher here, and I know very little about government, honestly, but I know a country without a government or an army is likely not going to be a country for long. Because when certain villains want to take over, who would be there to stop them? It's not like there's some 10 year old who's destined to save the world multiple times. It's not like he's gonna show up or anything. Or even a trainer who's named after a color or a precious metal. <clears throat> so no government means no free country or protected country from attacks, invasions, etc. But more importantly, no programs, no assistance, nothing. Something that people really don't think about though is that the government also provides simple things, things that people don't take uh, into context in their everyday life, like roadways. The government does provide roadways and safe passage for those roadways. Police, firefighters, hospitals. When you walk down the road, you don't get robbed because we have police there in case you do get robbed and you could get justice another thing provided by the government state uh, federal big governments small governments these are all things in place by many governments and things like free health care too like pokemon centers and with that an idea might start to be clicking in your head that if there are free pokemon centers then there must be some kind of government right like s something there has to be well kind of we can speculate at what the government actually does, being in Japan and, and developing Pokemon based upon the culture of the world over the years, we can assume that the government is likely a mishmash of capitalism, Japan's government style at the time, monarchy, and dictatorships. Hey, maybe there's even communism mixed in there. And Kanto is portrayed as a small section of Japan, filled with uh, small towns that are likely to have little government support anyways. Uh, but also, the culture itself is likely one of self-sustainment there, at least in that kind of world that was portrayed. What I mean to say is that people in Kanto are similar in nature to the Japanese in that they often did things for themselves rather than relying on the government to aid them. The lack of government in Kanto doesn't really surprise me. Come on, think about it. Team Rocket is running rampant and was stopped by a kid. Now that we have established that there is likely a government, even if it's not really that involved, who runs the government, and where is the government? Well, there is a definitive answer to this in Pokemon Generation 1. Believe it or not, there really is. Now, when we take this answer, we must take it in the context. 
We must look at this answer as for being for this game alone. It might stretch out to other games, but this answer is likely not to stretch out to the manga or the anime. Though it should be noted that the manga has a much clearer answer about what the Elite Four are and how they fit into that world, but again, that's the manga's universe. But the point is, the game series answers are it's and it's alone. Right, so back to Pokemon Generation 1. During a stream I was doing, I spoke to an NPC at the Fuchsia City Pokemon Center. And within this small, tiny piece of dialogue, I was given the answer to if there was a Pokemon government and who rules it. And just as you may be speculating, the Elite Four are indeed the leaders who rule. More precisely, they govern. And the governing region that they govern is Kanto at the HQ in the Indigo Plateau. The smallest bit of dialogue confirms that yes, 100%, the Elite Four govern the Kanto region and their HQ is indeed the Indigo Plateau. We could speculate at what they do, because once again, they don't really do much. Do they regulate the currency? There are polka dollars in the game. Do they enforce laws? Yeah, there's little police that we've seen in Gen 1. Or perhaps they regulate gym leaders, which would make a little bit more sense. While none of this is concrete, we can speculate that they do something, even if it's just to organize and challenge the best trainers in the land. And perhaps they battle the best to stay sharp, to be strong enough to fend off an invasion from other trainers, because they don't have a strong army in Kanto. And it would likely be due to this fact that they are able to rule as by defeating them, the winner becomes champion and is inducted to the Hall of Fame as the league's champion. To then fight off and fend off invasions as the champion. At any rate, at least we have an answer that the Elite Four are indeed the ones who govern over Kanto. So, there you have it, Pokemon fans. What did you think? Was it a good answer? Was it good enough for you? Would you like a more detailed explanation? Here's a better question, ladies and gentlemen, seriously. Who in the world regulates the currency in the game? Because th this is a really big thing as well. Like inflation, I've talked about payday in previous theories and how if you just create money out of thin air, it can destroy the government. We, I mean, we seriously have divisions dedicated to prevent the cloning of money. Money is so intricate and complex, at least in my country alone, that it's used in that way to prevent people from just printing off money themselves. And people do go to federal prison for a long time for counterfeiting cash. So what organization is responsible for checking that? Was this just something silly thrown in the game to appease people? Hey, what are the Elite Four? What are they there for, you know? And they, then they just put this little line of dialogue in there. Oh, yeah, they govern over uh, Kanto. You know, they're the strongest trainers. Uh, because they're the strongest trainers, no one can stop what they want to do. But they really don't do anything. So then, who regulates the currency? Who regulates the police? Who, who employs the police? How are the police paid? Things like that are very good questions that need to be brought up. And they really need to be answered within the series. And I gotta tell you, it's very, very difficult to find answers especially regarding government. There is a government, 100% confirmed a government, thanks to that line of dialogue that the programmers did indeed give us. But at the end of the day, the government really doesn't do much to help anyone. I mean, they're just there. They are just there. Like, hey, we're super strong. What are you doing for the country? Well, nothing really. We just sit here and we wait for strong trainers to challenge us. <sighs> like I said, it might just be because it's Gen 1, but maybe later on they'll come back and revisit, remake, and re-answer a lot of these questions. And hopefully, they really will do that. But, let me know what you think about this. Now, I'm off to rule Kanto with the Elite Four as their champion.